Imagine this, being able to play for your favorite major league soccer team and not even needing to leave the couch to do it. Well, that dream is now a reality here in Minnesota. If you're a fan of Minnesota United and like video games, David McCoy promises this story will fill you with envy. So you play a lot of FIFA? Yes. How much are you going to beat me by? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends how you play. <laughs> there's playing video games with your buddies. Oh. And then there's what Elias Baca gets to do. Don't let him shoot. Oh. And it all started like most athletes as a kid playing for the love of the game. When you're a kid and you're growing up playing video games, it's fun. And then in 2011, um, FIFA had what's called an interactive World Cup. And I got top 50 in the world. Yeah, top 50 in the world, which we're making sure to highlight as a built-in excuse for when he inevitably annihilates me. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine getting paid to play video games, which is exactly the gig Baca now has with Minnesota United. Okay. In January, Major League Soccer launched a new initiative. Uh -oh. And Baca represents Minnesota on its EMLS team. Every team's got one, playing FIFA on Xbox. Yeah, I know. The pay's not a lot, but again, you're playing video games. So what the MLS is trying to do is involve the gaming community to get into the actual sport. And by doing that, they wanted to do it with FIFA, which is one of the highest and uh, most sold games in the world. In that way, they can get um, more people around the world and in the U.S. to come into the actual games. Think of it like a new wave of marketing. They say that the biggest fans are the ones that grow up playing the game. <laughs> I mean, I guess that applies to video games, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's three guys on Minnesota's EMLS team. Baca's the best. He represented them at the very first tournament in early April. The first day, I did pretty great. I was actually sitting... Uh, third place. Second day, I let my guard down, you know, I, I let it, I let the first day get into my head. He still made the playoffs, but eventually got knocked out. Other than that, you know, I was happy that um, a lot of people were talking about Minnesota United over there. It was pretty awesome that I was able to represent the team in a national level. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, no, no. There's talk of having a whole weekly season next year, mirroring the real-life league schedule. But that's still up in the air as of now. Oh, my goodness. My goal with this is to get more of the Minnesota gaming community to get more involved into the actual sport. It's a little surreal to think that I'm getting paid to do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is such hard work, putting in a full day today. But all my hard work didn't stop me <laughs> from getting destroyed six to nothing. So, what did you think of the game? I think you're a lot better at it than I am. <laughs> I should ask you how I measured up against everybody else you play with. <laughs> uh, he pretty laughs. good. He pretty, laughed. Good. pretty good. Yeah, you, had to, pretty you good. hesitated. <laughs> David McCoy, WCCO 4 Sports.